This is the Basin Green 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Straight out of the box, you get the battery, terminal screws, insulation guide, and this warranty thing. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is there was these plugs all around the edge of the battery and they revealed some screws. So maybe this battery is serviceable. Bluetooth control, it's this Xiaoshang app for your phone and what looks like a JBD BMS. So it will be fun to see if uh, we can open it and take a look inside without cutting around the edge and, well, destroying the enclosure. But first, let's charge this thing up and do a capacity test. So we are charging the battery and having a look at the BMS app, uh, we can see it's uh, charging and there's a temperature sensor inside the BMS. It says in the insulation guide that there is a low temperature protection. We'll get to that. Now the battery has a max charge current at 100 amps and the discharge current at 100 amps. Cutoff voltage is at set to 10 volts. You can do four of these guys in parallel and four in series. Parallel is for a 12 volt system, you know, four of them wired together. And you can series them up to a 48 volt system if you want to. We we'll use two of them for a 24 volt system. All right, so we're done charging the battery and now let's do a capacity test. Zero out the tester and crank it up to 10 amps and let it run. That's gonna run all night, I guess. It's the next morning and we are at uh, 90 amp hours, 12.3 volts. Yeah, test this. Almost done. Nine hours and 55 minutes into the test and we are at 100.18 amp hours. So we have reached our target. Now, let's just see how many amp hours we can push out of this battery. And the test is complete. And we are at 103.48 amp hours. So that's a pass for a 100 amp hour battery. So I removed all the plastic plugs covering the screws and remove the screws and it looks like we got a serviceable battery or at least easy access so I had no problem getting the cells and the BMS out of the box it was just to slide it out it was glued on the sides but this glue doesn't really fit that well to plastic so it just slides out we got welded bus bars on each cell and there's the temperature sensor and 
There is a JBD BMS. Nice insulation on the on the positive wire. And we got two on the negative. Really nice build. Well, my experience with the uh, basin is that they were seriously good company. So I wouldn't expect anything less. Really beautiful. Let's put a charge on the battery and test the temperature sensor. So the low temperature protection is working. Let's see if it back up. And we're charging again. See it again. And there we go. Cool. High temperature. Yeah. Now let's put this thing back together. If you're worried that there is uh, no sealing around it, it is. As you can see, there's sealant all around. When you tighten the screws, it will seal up. So all in all, we have to give this battery a solid pass, right? Uh, this will go straight into my 12 volt system at the off-grid cabin. Okay, so I'll uh, leave a link to Basin's website and you could have a chat with them and tell them your needs if you're looking for uh, batteries or battery components or I think they even do customized batteries for your needs. So I hope this battery will last. I have avoided the warranty by opening it up and tampering with the temperature sensor. But it's for science, so who cares? So far, a really good battery.